Inspector Jendrali wa polisi Hilary Mtembai hile wamefanya kikao na maafisa wakuu kwenye idara hiyo ili kuangazia swala la amani wakati uchaguzi mkuu wa wiki ijayo. Mwanahabari wetu Henry Tende amekita kambi katika eneo la Embakasi na tuungane nae. Thank you to note. And, and, and if you have not read the statement by the deputy president, please go back and read it. Not a single shred of evidence is presented to back any of those allegations. They are just serious allegations and general statements made without any evidence. So, number one, as the government and its senior officials mobilize to campaign for any particular candidate, there's a simply no. Number two, have we instructed national government administration officers to campaign for any particular candidate? The answer is no. Have we been meeting chiefs in secret meetings and planning uh, against uh, the UDA presidential candidate? The answer is no. I mean, there's no evidence presented uh, uh, on that. Uh, have the cabinet secretary, principal secretary, and senior uh, GAO officials been holding meetings and threatening chiefs to campaign for or support a particular candidate? The answer is no. No evidence is presented of this. They're just sweeping statements that are just made for the heck of it. And then and finally, I'll talk very briefly about uh, CAK. It's an independent institution. I'll just comment about that merely from the point of view of what our role is and what we know about that. But even that claim is not backed by any evidence. One, the structure of the security management of the country starts from the highest national security organ, which is the National Security Council. The National Security Council is chaired by His Excellency the President. And I have to say here that I have expressed clearance from the President to do this press conference because I couldn't if I didn't have clearance from the President to do it, because that is how an orderly country is run. Two, um, you go to the National Security Advisory Committee after that. And the National Advisory uh, Security uh, uh, Advisory Committee is comprised of the technical officers, the heads of the security agencies, and the others, uh, you know, who manage um, the security institutions across the country. Then from there we go to the respective ministries, and from the ministries we go to the regions, from the regions we go to the counties, from the counties we go to the sub-counties, all the way to the sub-locations. Right from the sublocation, the assistant chief chairs the security committee at the sublocation level. The chief chairs the security committee at the location level, and all the way to the National Security Council. It, it, the security sector is a very regimented arrangement. You don't have the freedom, and you have no capacity to work outside of it. When we take decisions, for example, if we have to communicate policy to the chiefs and to the DCs and to the regional commissioners, it has got to flow directly from the National Security Council. I am not aware, because there doesn't exist a discussion that has happened at the National Security Council authorizing us to meet the chiefs and instruct them to campaign for anyone. And if His Excellency the Deputy President has... Na sasa mtazamaji tukiangazia tarifa za siasa.